Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. In today's chess video we are going to learn a nasty trap to defeat even 1600 rated players. Let's dive in. We start with d4, d5, knight f3, knight f6, pawn e3 and pawn e6. Here we play bishop d3 developing our bishop. And black plays pawn c5 attacking our d4 pawn. And then we play pawn c3 defending our pawn. This opening is known as coal system. The advantage of this opening is that, our king is safe. The most preferred move by black in this position is bishop e7. Here both players castles. After that we play knight d2. Our idea is to attack on the center. Black plays knight c6 developing his knight. And after that we play our last move of development queen e2. Which threats pawn e4 and pawn e5 for black. Here the most played move by black is pawn d6. Here we play pawn e4 attacking the center. Here most of the players trade pieces. After we recapture from our queen we are threatening to check mate on h7 square and also threatening to capture this knight on c6. So here we will win a knight. Going back to the position. What if black doesn't trade knight here and play a developing move bishop b7. Here we play a brilliant move knight g5 attacking on the h7 square. Here black has to kick out this knight, as this knight will become a big problem for black on next move. Hence he plays pawn h6 to kick out this knight. Now we grab this knight on f6. And after black recaptures we play another crushing move queen e4 threatening to queen h7. Now black has to block this diagonal. He has only option pawn g6 to block this diagonal. Here we play another good move knight e6. Which is very nice. Here black has to capture this knight because it is forking the rook and queen. After black captures we will grab the pawn on g6 by our queen giving check to the king. Here we are threatening to queen h7 on next move. Hence black has to play bishop g7 to defend the check. But we continue to play queen h7. And after that we play bishop g6 completely exposing the black's king. Here after bishop h5, you can win from black in hardly 5 to 10 moves. Let's look at the another variation. Going back to the position. Instead of bishop e7. Position, what if black plays bishop b 6 Here both players castles. Then we develop our knight. Black also develops his knight. And after that we capture the pawn on c5. After black recaptures the pawn we play pawn e5. Here according to the Lich's database most of the players prefer to trade pawns here. After trading the knight. Here majority of the players grab the queen. We recapture the queen from our rook. Here black queen side is undeveloped. To develop his queen side he has to play bishop d7. Since our rook is attacking on the d7 square. First he has to defend this square. Hence he plays rook d8 to defend this d7 square. We play bishop f4 to add up our second rook in the game. Black plays bishop d7 according to his plan. And after that we play a crushing move bishop c7 attacking the rook. Now black has to move his rook and then we will win this bishop. Let's look at the another variation. Going back to the position. Here instead of pawn e6 what if black plays bishop g4. This bishop is pinning our knight do we have to kick out this bishop first. Hence we play pawn h3 to kick out this bishop. And we keep chasing this bishop by pawn g4. And after that we play knight e5 attacking this bishop. No matter what black plays here. Our idea is simple to push forward this pawn and to grab this bishop. Let's take an example of black plays knight d7. We push our pawn forward on h4. Here if black try to protect his bishop by pawn h6 or pawn h5. We will grab this bishop. Since this bishop is not more protected by this h pawn. So black has to capture this bishop by f pawn. Which will weaken these two squares. Then we play a crushing move bishop d3 attacking this pawn and threatening mate in one. Since black cannot protect this pawn which will lead to check mate on next move. Going back to the position. Here if you play against an experienced player he will not play h pawn. And can capture your knight. But this is also a big mistake. Because after we recapture from our pawn attacking this knight. And after that we play pawn h5 locking the black's bishop. Here you can say that black has a e4 square to save his bishop. But after e4 we will play pawn f3 finally locking this bishop. This position is completely winning for white. Watch my this video to learn more this type of traps and subscribe me for more traps.